Hello guys, today we're going to see how to install Windows using Bootcamp on your MacBook Air or Pro with Intel processors. So the first thing we need is the Windows 10 ISO file. So go ahead and Google and type download Windows 10 ISO. This will bring you up to this page where you can enter which version, the language and how many bits. So we're going to go with English language. Uh, you can choose from the prompt whatever language you'd like. And then, of course, for my MacBook Air, which is a 2020 MacBook Air, I'm going to go with 64 bits. And that's probably the right answer for most MacBooks. Um, uh, let's wait for the download to finish. All right, once it's done, go to Utilities and Boot Camp Assistant. And this will bring up the Assistant. Now the whole process is quite straightforward. We're just going to hit continue here. And then we can choose how many gigabytes we want to use for our boot camp setup. I'm going to go with about half. So I have 512 gigabytes. So that's like 250. That should be more than good for Windows. And let's hit start. All right, let's wait for this to finish. It should take about 10 minutes or so. So once it's done, it's going to go ahead and restart your MacBook and that should bring up the Windows installation. Now this part can take a little bit longer. So let's wait for Windows to load and then we have to go through the setup. Alright, so this is the Windows setup. Let's hit start. I'm going to go don't have a product key, then Windows 10 Home, I agree, and start. All right, let's let it do its thing here. All right, so now it's finally setting it up. It's configuring all the services. Uh, once that finishes, it should take about 20, 30 minutes, depending on which type of MacBook you have. Then it's going to have, uh, the system ask us the language for Windows. Uh, I usually like to skip through all this stuff. Just make sure you got the right language and the right keyboard. Everything else I'm either going to skip or disable. I always do don't have internet. That way we don't have to create a Hotmail or a Microsoft Live account. So we can use an offline account. Uh, so let's just do MacBook. No password for now. This stuff, I usually disable everything just to keep my machine running as fast as possible. And I would recommend you to do the same. Cortana, nope. All right, this is basically it. Now we just wait a few more minutes for it to set everything up. There we go, it's done. Now, once it finishes, we do need to go ahead and hit next year and install these tools. This is what's going to bridge over the MacBook components like the Wi-Fi, the audio, the keyboard features. So we need to install this, make sure everything works. And there will be a little boot camp options on the bottom right where you can control some keyboard features and things like that. And of course, I do recommend you to update the Apple software and the Windows software. So once you have Windows on your MacBook, you want to be keeping both of these up to date. So both your Windows system and your Apple tools, because those are going to bridge in, like I said, the drivers, the Wi-Fi, the touchpad, the keyboard.
All right, that's done. So it finishes. Once it finishes, we just need to go ahead and restart the system. And that's going to be basically it for installing Windows on your Intel MacBook. It's really cool, really simple. Um, yeah, besides that, whenever you power on your MacBook, you can hold the Option key to choose between loading up MacBook, uh, Mac OS, or Windows. And there is also an option on the icon on the bottom right where you can say restart to Mac OS or restart to Windows. But that's going to be it for this one. Pretty straightforward. It doesn't take too long. If you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you next time.